Many years ago in the court of Emperor Akbar, it was business as usual. Then suddenly, the emperor noticed something strange. Look there, look there, pointing at a pedestal. Where is the golden flower vase that was standing there? Someone has stolen it. Maybe someone has just misplaced it, Shayan Shah, said one of the courtiers. But Birbal had no hesitation. He said, Jahan Pana, only one of the courtiers could have stolen the vase. Hearing Birbal's statement, the other courtiers were enraged. How dare you accuse us, shouted one courtier. This is an outrage, said a second courtier. We demand an apology. Birbal should be punished immediately for making such a statement, Jahampana, said a third courtier. The emperor then turned to Birbal. You have made a serious charge, Birbal, said the emperor. Can you prove it? Certainly, your majesty, said Birbal. I will bring my magic donkey to find out who the thief is. Then Birbal left the court and returned after some time with the donkey. The emperor was still unsure. He addressed Birbal quietly. Are you sure about this, Birbal? He asked. Don't worry, your majesty. Listen to the plan. He then told the emperor what had to be done. The emperor then turned to the court. Each of you must now go to the donkey in turn and hold its tail. Birbal says the donkey will then speak the thief's name. So the courtiers walked up to the donkey one by one and held its tail. They waited but the donkey remained silent. What is this Birbal? asked the emperor. Something has happened to your magic donkey. It is not able to find the thief. Don't worry your majesty, replied Birbal. It has done its job. I will find the thief now. Birbal then approached the courtiers. Please show me your palms one by one, said Birbal. What nonsense is this, said Iqbal, one of the courtiers. Have you gone mad, Birbal? he asked. Birbal immediately grabbed Iqbal's hand and pulled him forward. Iqbal here is the thief, your majesty, said Birbal. Iqbal realized the game was up. He hung his head in shame and confessed to the theft. But I don't understand, Birbal, said the emperor. How did you know Iqbal was a thief? It's simple, your majesty, said Birbal. The donkey is an ordinary one. Earlier, I had smeared paint on its tail. While everyone else had no hesitation in holding its tail, Iqbal did not dare do so. His clean palm is proof that he is the culprit. That's how I identified that he was the thief. Birbal, you're amazing, said the emperor. You are a true genius. Thank you for your kind words, your majesty, replied Birbal. Birbal had proved that words have no power unless you have the will and the intelligence to back them up with action. <laughs>